Guys, howdy, what's the crack? Bitcoin with Dinny here. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, or whenever you're catching this, let me know. Drop a little like in, let me know you're here. Um, haven't done a driving video in a while because the internet hasn't been great, but we'll try one anyway and see what we get on. Just heading up to the Bitcoin with Dinny office uh, for a day of consulting, helping people to build plans to retire early. Plan B pensions, as we call them. Turn that off. Um, just get out of here. So, uh, Blagy has a bet that Bitcoin reaches 1 million in 90 days. I was chatting a little bit about this yesterday. Um, and uh, love to hear your opinion on it. But basically, his thesis is, is that the US financial system is broken. In 90 days, the digital dollar is coming out. So, you know, everyone thought this was a massive uh, conspiracy theory that there was going to be a digital dollar which gives you no privacy and no control over your own money. You can't own your money anymore. But uh, now it looks like the digital dollar is being rolled out, the initial rollout, the test rollout, in only 90 days, which is crazy. So in Europe, it's almost scary, like, how this thing has came out of nowhere. Um, <clears throat> so what he thinks is, because America are freedom-orientated people, okay, and some states are actually putting in bills to try and prevent the rollout of the CDC because they understand that it's against against it's against their the whole thesis of what America is built on, which is which is freedoms and liberties. Okay, because it takes all that away from people. So I see in some senators there are putting through bills to try and make the uh, digital dollar illegal in their state, and we'll see how that gets on. But generally, um, if it's a national rollout, well, we'll see. America's a bit different; they do have separate rules for separate states. But it's interesting, so what Pelagi thinks is that there's got to be a mass exodus to Bitcoin, money is being printed, okay, to bail out all these banks that got into trouble, and, um, and the money has two places to go. It can either go into Bitcoin or it's going to move from small banks to the large banks. Okay, because it seems that the large banks are guaranteed they're too big to fail. Okay, so what this is going to do is, it has the potential, I suppose, to wipe out all the small banks. And whatever happens in America, you know, probably ends up happening here. We're just a little bit behind. So it's, I pay a lot of attention to what's happening in the States. Because it's a world reserve currency as well, It, you know, 80% or 85% of world trade is done in the dollar. So the money has two places where it can go. It can, one, it can go into large banks, okay, but they're still controlled by people, okay, they still can fail, there can still be a bank run, or two, you know, the use case for Bitcoin, one of the use cases for Bitcoin is that it, it's a bank without humans in control, it's a bank where there's no bail-ins, there's no bailouts, there's no money printer, and there's no humans to make bad decisions that cause the bank to go bust, and that's why we're seeing Bitcoin really rallied, it rallied from 20,000 to 28,000 in a week, okay, and this is the power of Bitcoin, and this way you can't sit in the sidelines, I don't believe, and this isn't financial advice, but it's just my advice to you from being in this space for years, if you try and trade Bitcoin, you lose, okay, because all, all the action can happen in a couple of hours, all right, so while you're working, you might miss it, you know, you might not get the notification that Bitcoin is absolutely ripping, because it just does nothing for a period of time, and then suddenly out of nowhere for no such reason without you getting any warning you know it just lights in and does 10 percent in a couple of hours or 30 percent in uh in a couple of days and this is why you know my strategy what i'm going up here now to do with a client you know we understand there's time in the market is how the money is made it's not timing the market and timing the market is where everyone makes mistakes and timing the market is hard and difficult to do and it costs you lots of time and spending time in the market is much easier to do it doesn't give you any headaches it doesn't cost you any time you don't have to use your emotions you just set it and forget it and that's the beauty of it and of course the irony the simple strategy is the best strategy but most people think that that's too good that that can't work it's too simple so they try and make things more complex and they meddle all right but um you know, all my life I've just read books from great investors and there's a couple of easy principles and that's all I've followed in my life uh, with my investment thesis and that's what I teach everyone else to do. Uh, and one of them is just time in the markets. Don't try to time a market. The longer you're in the market, the better. 
okay, volatility is your friend, volatility is the price you pay for performance, um, and there's not a wealthy Bitcoiner out there who hasn't mistimed the market at some stage or another, but when you use your accumulation strategy, it doesn't matter, it negates all that because you're getting all the highs and lows. Okay, but anyway, I'm off point here totally. Can Balaji, can Bitcoin get to a million in 90 days? I don't think so, and I don't want it to, and here's why. If Bitcoin goes to a million in 90 days, the world is an absolute mess, okay? It means the dollar is broken down, civilization will broke down, there'll be carnage, you will need to own a gun, okay? <laughs> it's just not going to be a good world to live in. So my fingers are crossed, I hope Bitcoin doesn't get to a million in 90 days. I'd much rather, just slowly, that we transfer across to this ultimate system, okay? You know, there's a slow bleed across as there has been for 14 years. That's going to be a much safer transition. It's going to be uh, much better for the vast majority of people. Um, what I always say to people is Bitcoin is Bitcoin is your lifeboat, okay? And 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 the siren is going off. The siren is going off to say we have a hole in the ship. So it, it's definitely time to look for the lifeboat. It's definitely time to have the, the life jacket on. And for me, that's just owning a little bit of Bitcoin. You don't have to be 100% Bitcoin, but to be zero, you're taking on a lot of risk because everything you own is all connected to the one system, whether it's property or euros, um, you know, or stocks or bonds. It's all more or less on the one system, and Bitcoin is alternate system uh, you know own a little bit of gold if you want but I don't believe gold's going to make anyone rich uh, because for 5,000 years gold has just kept people rich but if you have money that you want to put outside the system you want to keep yourself rich if you are wealthy well then there's a good use case for holding some uh, gold I guess too but it's definitely time to start learning if you're a Bitcoiner it's important that you teach your friends and family try and get them off zero try and get them a small little bit of exposure or even just get them learning because there is a process to learn about Bitcoin and it takes a couple of years to really understand it and if you only start today it means it's going to take a couple of years before you actually understand it in a couple of years you could be in a digital euro and you won't even have the ability to buy Bitcoin you will not have the ability to get on the lifeboat okay because the lifeboats are all gone they'll have cut you off potentially who knows okay and uh, you still will be able to get Bitcoin, of course, but it may not be as easy. And we're seeing that in the UK now already, that transactions are being limited. You can't buy as much Bitcoin as you want, and that's only going to come down. And, and you know, it's going to be more difficult for normal people. Now, wealthy people will be able to onboard, they'll be able to use private banks, but you've already got to be a multimillionaire to get access to these uh, facilities. And for the vast majority of us, we're not multi-multi-millionaires, so we don't have access to private banking. So our ability to onboard onto the lifeboat may be restricted in the future. Don't wait. I've been saying this for three years now. And of course, it's, you know, it's easy to laugh at it, but now we're seeing it in real time. So I really hope people understand that Bitcoin is well worth learning about. You're seeing it in real time, the use case for it. It's a bank that can't fail. It's a bank with no bailouts and it's a bank with no money printer. It's a bank where your wealth can't be diluted. There's 21 million Bitcoin. That's all there can ever be, okay? And that's why it seems to be trending up in value for 14 years when it's priced in everything else, priced in euros, priced in dollars, priced in housing, priced in gold. Nothing has came up with it and that's because everything else we can create more of. We can create more euros, we can create more properties, more, we can build more houses, we can mine more gold, okay? We can print more dollars, but we can't print any more Bitcoin. It's just fixed issuance. Now today is one of the most important meetings of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. I'll be on watching it live. He's gonna dictate the price of money. It's going to be interesting. Are they going to pivot? What they're going to raise interest rates? Are they going to raise at all? Whatever that's going on. All right. So I don't even know how. I don't even know the issuance schedule of money tomorrow. Okay, when priced in fiat dollars, euros. Okay, I know the issuance schedule. I know the monetary policy of Bitcoin for the next hundred years. That's how predictable it is. I know it for the next hundred years. Okay. Whereas with the dollar, I don't even know what it's doing tomorrow. We all have to wait, or today, we all have to wait and watch the meeting. And that's why it's absolutely crazy, this manipulated system where nobody can make a price decision because nobody knows. The market is getting such mixed signals because the price of money is decided by a small group of humans in a room as opposed to a free market letting it reach its, you know, its true price of money. Uh, anyway, I'm off to the office, guys. Internet's been all right for now, so I'm gonna drop off. Uh, good to see you all. Hope you hit the like button, hit the share button. And uh, if you need any help with resources, drop in a comment there and people will start sharing some good resources for learning and understanding 
uh, a little bit about Bitcoin. If you're new to the space, my advice is, and it's not financial advice, but it's just forget crypto. Crypto is high risk, high return. Okay, if you don't know what you're at, you're probably gonna be on the losing side of that trade because 90% of people lose when they trade and even higher percentage of people lose when they try and trade altcoins. So my advice is stick with Bitcoin, just try and understand Bitcoin. Uh, people who have invested in Bitcoin for four years have all made money. You know, not pretty simple. There's, nobody who's invested in crypto has guaranteed to make money by being there for four years. 95% or whatever the percentage have lost money. So just be aware of that fact. Focus on your education, learn and understand about Bitcoin, learn and understand about money and money printing and uh, and how money works. And it'll be the best decision that you make today in a couple of years. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Right? I'm pretty sure of that. You guys, have a super day. I'm off to the office for some consulting. Check out BitcoinWithInny.com if you want to see what I do or how we help. And I uh, hope you have an awesome Wednesday. Inny out.